Scrum Events The sprint is a container for all other events. Each event in Scrum is a formal opportunity to inspect and adapt Scrum artifacts. These events are specifically designed to enable the transparency required. Failure to operate any events as prescribed results in lost opportunities to inspect and adapt. Events are used in Scrum to create regularity and to minimize the need for meetings not defined in Scrum. Optimally, all events are held at the same time and place to reduce complexity. The Sprint Sprints are the heartbeat of Scrum, where ideas are turned into value. They are fixed length events of one month or less to create consistency. A new sprint starts immediately after the conclusion of the previous sprint. All the work necessary to achieve the product goal, including sprint planning, daily scrums, sprint review, and sprint retrospective, happen within sprints. During the sprint, no changes are made that would endanger the sprint goal, quality does not decrease, the product backlog is refined as needed, and scope may be clarified and renegotiated with the product owner as more is learned. Sprints enable predictability by ensuring inspection and adaptation of progress toward a product goal at least every calendar month. When a sprint's horizon is too long, the sprint goal may become invalid, complexity may rise, and risk may increase. Shorter sprints can be employed to generate more learning cycles and limit risk of cost and effort to a smaller time frame. Each sprint may be considered a short project. Various practices exist to forecast progress, like burndowns, burn up, or cumulative flows. While proven useful, these do not replace the importance of empiricism. In complex environments, what will happen is unknown. Only what has already happened may be used for forward-looking decision-making. A sprint could be cancelled if the sprint goal becomes obsolete. Only the product owner has the authority to cancel the sprint. Sprint Planning Sprint planning initiates the sprint by laying out the work to be performed for the sprint. This resulting plan is created by the collaborative work of the entire Scrum team. The product owner ensures that attendees are prepared to discuss the most important product backlog items and how they map to the product goal. The Scrum team may also invite other people to attend sprint planning to provide advice. Sprint planning addresses the following topics. Topic 1. Why is this sprint valuable? The product owner proposes how the product could increase its value and utility in the current sprint. The whole Scrum team then collaborates to define a sprint goal that communicates why the sprint is valuable to stakeholders. The sprint goal must be finalized prior to the end of sprint planning. Topic 2. What can be done this sprint? Through discussion with the product owner, the developers select items from the product backlog to include in the current sprint. The Scrum team may refine these items during this process, which increases understanding and confidence. Selecting how much can be completed within a sprint may be challenging. However, the more the developers know about their past performance, their upcoming capacity, and their definition of done, the more confident they will be in their sprint forecasts. Topic 3. How will the chosen work get done? For each selected product backlog item, the developers plan the work necessary to create an increment that meets the definition of done. This is often done by decomposing product backlog items into smaller work items of one day or less. How this is done at the sole discretion of the developers. No one else tells them how to turn product backlog items into increments of value. The sprint goal, the product backlog items selected for the sprint, plus the plan for delivering them are together referred to as the sprint backlog. Sprint planning is time boxed to a maximum of 8 hours for a 1 month sprint. For shorter sprints, the event is usually shorter. Daily Scrum The purpose of the daily scrum is to inspect progress toward the sprint goal and adapt the sprint backlog as necessary adjusting the upcoming planned work. The Daily Scrum is a 15-minute event for the developers of the Scrum team. To reduce complexity, it is held at the same time and place every working day of the sprint. If the product owner or Scrum master are actively working on items in the sprint backlog, they participate as developers. 
The developers can select whatever structure and techniques they want, as long as their daily scrum focuses on progress toward the sprint goal and produces an actionable plan for the next day of work. This creates focus and improves self-management. Daily scrums improve communications, identify impediments, promote quick decision-making, and consequently eliminate the need for other meetings. The daily scrum is not the time developers are allowed to adjust their plan. They often meet throughout the day for more detailed discussions about adapting or replanning the rest of the sprint's work. Sprint Review The purpose of the sprint review is to inspect the outcome of the sprint and determine future adaptations. The Scrum team presents the results of their work to key stakeholders and progress toward the product goal is discussed. During the event, the Scrum team and stakeholders review what was accomplished in the sprint and what has changed in their environment. Based on this information, attendees collaborate on what to do next. The product backlog may also be adjusted to meet new opportunities. The sprint review is a working session and the scrum team should avoid limiting it to a presentation. The sprint review is the second to last event of the sprint and is time boxed to a maximum of four hours for a one month sprint. For shorter sprints, the event is usually shorter.